These custom leg braces right here belong to a paralyzed bulldog. We first introduced you to Spencer last November when he walked for the first time. A year later, Spencer's owners are on a special mission now. Allison Morrow takes us to James A. Haley Veterans Hospital to show it to us. Uh, scary as hell, but you still got to do your job. That's how Desert Storm veteran Jerome Markell describes war. It's also the same attitude he has after a car hit his scooter and paralyzed him this summer. It's still something I have to deal with every day. Just the thought of a... Uh being like this the rest of my life. Doctors predicted Markel would never breathe on his own, much less move his arms and hands. <laughs> Spencer the Bulldog is also paralyzed. Last year, his owners wheeled him into West Coast Brace and Limb. Fitted with custom braces and green Crocs, Spencer walked for the first time and began a new life with his brother, Porkchop, the blind pig. Porkchop opens the front gate. And then the two of them run amok and they chase the cat. Linda Hines says going? Spencer can act yeah. naughty now. Good boy. But not today. Yeah. This is Spencer's good deed, heading right for Markel. Oh, he's great. Now that Spencer can walk with his braces, dog shaped slippers, that's amazing. He works as a therapy dog, visiting foster homes, hospitals, anywhere anyone needs a smile. Hey, buddy. Markel shared his beef jerky. Does it smell good? But Spencer may not realize what he shared. You're happy to start running, weren't you, buddy? It's just, uh, you know, it brings tears to your eyes. A reminder in a gym filled with challenge that physical weakness says nothing about strength and says even less about hope. Glad to see that he could overcome it. In, uh, in Tampa. Maybe someday we can run together. Allison Morrow, ABC Action News.